Okay guys, I'm gonna show you how I did some coding in my BMW i3 and um, I got this one, I got the V-Gate I got the... I'm gonna put a link in the description for which one this one is and uh, this one is actually listed for only working with the uh, iPhone but uh, you know what, I have a Samsung and uh, I can say right now that it's working with Samsung so that is really good, really useful this one costs about 40 euro it's about 40 US uh, at least here in Sweden, so it's probably cheaper if you find it on like uh, eBay, Amazon or wherever But this one works with uh, uh, With Samsung with Android phones, and that's really good. Uh, I tried another one before this one and that one did not work So this one actually just goes in here in the bottom under the steering wheel Okay guys, so the first thing we're gonna do is uh, get, get the Bimmer code app for BMW and Mini and I already downloaded uh, this one. This one is not for free though. This one costs about 28 um, euro. It's about 28 US dollar too. Um, there are some free applications, but um, I'm not going to cover this in uh, cover that in this video. So I got the Bimbo Code app, and uh, before you connect though, you need to go to your Wi-Fi settings and click the V-Link. And there is no password on uh, this one. You only click on this one and then then you're uh, connected and uh, this is maybe something to think about actually after you're done with the coding that you unplug the the the, the thing from the from report because there's no password um, so we're gonna go to Beamer code and we're just gonna hit connect uh, the first time that you do this you also get this small window here that you have to select what kind of device it is. So we're gonna select V-Gate Wi-Fi. Wi and then we're gonna go all the way to the bottom to BMW i3 and hit OK. And there's a warning, connect. And now we're just gonna wait patiently. Um, something didn't work. Okay, now it's working. Okay, and there we are. Now we're connected. We don't have that many menus here, so I'm gonna try to go by to the first one. Okay, there we are. So in this one we have a few things. We have the seatbelt alarm, and we have the seatbelt um, uh, indicator for the driver and for the passenger. And then we can set the uh, change also uh, when the alarm or reminder is gonna uh, go on. Uh, I'm gonna keep mine on because um, I feel like it's an important feature to have and it should not be really messed with. Though I am gonna change the speed to 20 km per hour and um, then I'm gonna hit code. And then we're gonna read this one. Yeah, so it says uh, keep the battery charge on the phone and don't disconnect it from uh, the car. And hit start coding. And on the car we also got this small this uh, info message here. Coding complete. I'm gonna try to uh, just double check this one. I'm gonna disconnect and I'm gonna turn off the car and then we're gonna start it up again and see if and what we get here. Everything seems fine here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit connect again. I'm gonna go to BMW i3, connect, connect. Okay, so I'm back in here and I'm just gonna click this one and there we are. And now we can see that um, it's still set to 20 km per hour. So, yeah, this one worked. We're gonna go back and try the next one. We're gonna see what air conditioning gives us as far as the options. So, this one is uh, not so interesting. We're gonna go back, try the third one. And that's it. So, we're gonna see what we're gonna play with in here. Here there is a um, brake force warning and um, 
Here we can select if we want it flashing or area enlargement. I'm not really sure what it, this one means, but uh, there are some options. And then the speed limit here too. I'm gonna lower this one to 30 km per hour because um, why not have that? And then we have this one. This is the one I'm interested in. Daytime running lights rear. We want to have that active. So, if my understanding is right, this is going to make it so that the the rear lights are going to be on all the time, even day during daytime. Here you can also do the default driving mode. So, if you prefer to go in Eco Pro, this is great for you. Then you don't have to select it manually every time. But I go in a comfort all the time, so it doesn't matter. This one should be about the, yeah, for the right mirror. When you put it in reverse, you you get the right mirror to fold down. And here you can also um, select how much you want it folding down. And that's pretty good. And then we have about the, um, this, the heating for the seats that you can adjust that. Like if you want it to be um, warmer or maybe less warm. Yeah, I think this is it. I'm gonna press code, start coding, and we're gonna cross our fingers. So unfortunately, right now I'm in a garage, so um, I cannot try out the lights, but I'm gonna do that as soon as I come outside. Uh, I still have about uh, one hour of uh, daylight. An error occurred during coding. Hmm? I'm gonna try it again. So when it finishes, I get uh, this one, but this one this one goes away after I restart the car. So no big deal there. And that is just my subwoofer acting a bit weird. Um, long story after installing some stuff there. So I'm actually gonna I'm gonna see on this one. Maximum volume at startup. This is about uh, the media, the media system. Um, twenty-five is pretty high. Sometimes I blast it pretty high. So we're gonna lower that one to twenty. It's active. Different um, um, animations that's displayed when you start up the car. So we can try something. Let's try the Christmas one. Okay. AM radio, we don't need that. I don't have range extender option here. You can add um, so that you can use a USB memory uh, down here and uh, play some video from that one on the screen. Pretty cool, but I feel like, um, first of all, I can't use it while driving, that's stupid. And second of all, even if I wanted to use video, I would probably just watch something on my phone from, uh, from like uh, YouTube or Netflix, so. Something like great videos on how to do stuff with your BMW. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is the ringtone for incoming call. Warning chime. Okay, so I'm gonna code the maximum volume down to 20%. And we're gonna change the starting animation to Christmas. And that's it. Let's see if it works. Start coding. So this one just turned off, so it seems to be working. Also, I'm getting more electricity for free. Perfect here in Nakia. Great charging. They just put up 14 more of these. So, really good. Resetting ECU. Yeah, there we go. Christmas theme. Ah, this is cool. Yeah, that's a bit funny. Merry Christmas. Probably turn off the music. Copyright reasons, right? Yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. That one works. And then we have two more. Park distance control. We can see that one. I think that one is going to be a small menu. Yeah. Nothing here. 
instrument cluster what do we have here so this one is for all of you with a range extender here you can uh, increase electronically limited fuel capacity so if you have the if you have a US car with a range extender they limit the fuel capacity electronically and here you can uh, increase that one that's pretty cool okay so that was everything so I'm just gonna go ahead and um, go back disconnect and uh, restart the car Let's turn it off let me see what happens when we start it up it seems like the yeah I'm still charging it seems like the Christmas theme here uh, when you start up doesn't show up all the time it said so in the menu too um, so I don't know why but yeah I don't know I guess it's there so what did I code I coded the Christmas uh, thingy dingy here on the screen that maybe doesn't show up I did the maximum volume at 20% uh, so if I forget to lower it well it's 20 instead of 25 doesn't really matter I did the seatbelt warning limit to 20 km per hour instead of 10 km per hour and then I got the brake light warning lowered to uh, 30 km per hour from 50 km per hour and then the best part of all I got the rear rear lights the tail lights to be on all the time so during daytime when I have the DRL in the front daytime running light uh, the tail light is gonna be on too and I think that one is gonna it's gonna look good and it's gonna be a good feature and it's good for safety too to be visible so yeah why not and uh, that's actually all I got so well considering the price for for this one that this one cost about 40 euro and the application cost about 28 let's call it 30 euro um, for turning on the rear lights 70 euro it's kind of expensive but yeah it is what it is this is what I could change if you have the range extender you have um, a few more options like when you you can keep it on for a longer time and stuff like that you probably already read about that but for me I guess it's still worth it but um, it's up to each one um, anyway guys uh, I hope you like this video and um, see you next time don't forget to like comment and subscribe and especially if you have any questions put them below and I will try to answer them as soon as possible okay see you next time